to address the issues facing Tennesseans today. From 10 News, this is Inside Tennessee. Good Sunday morning and welcome to Inside Tennessee. I'm your moderator, John Becker. We turn our attention to what is now an open seat in the Tennessee House. Representative Martin Daniel opted against running for another two year term to serve District 18. To give you a sense of that district, there are about 60,000 people in it. If you took North Shore Drive and then Pellissippi Parkway, everybody in between there to the north and to the south is represented by this district. And there are two people running. We have today the Democrat hoping to win that seat on and the Republican Democrat Virginia Couch is with us and Republican Eddie Manis both with us this morning as well as our panelists Don Bosch who is a Democrat and runs his own law firm and Susan Richardson Williams who runs her own PR firm and she is a Republican. Let's start with the reason uh, you guys are running for this seat and Ms. Couch let's start with you. Well uh, first of all thank you for having me on. Um, I'm running about opportunities. Um, it's 2020 and we're still not able to provide people with basic opportunities. Um, opportunities I've had all my life. I'm 56 years old and here it is 2020 and people still don't have an opportunity to get a good ed public education, an opportunity to get and stay healthy and economic opportunities. I mean, economic opportunities for everyone, good job, good careers, um, you know, access to small businesses. Um, these opportunities is what it's, what I've been able to practice law 20 years. Uh, I get to teach at a class at the law school. Um, I've got a successful small business of my own, all because of these opportunities. And that's what, that's why I wanna run. Um, I watched uh, in 2016, uh, nationally, things change, and in 2018, um, the state changed, and I wasn't going to let it happen again. I, I really want to get out there and bring some opportunities to everyone in District 18. Eddie Manis, your reason for running. Good morning, John. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> thanks for having us this morning. Yeah, you know, I have uh, been involved in the community uh, most of my adult career, most of my adult life, and starting a business in 19. And, you know, now we employ, we have about 100 full-time employees that is uh, post-COVID or during the COVID uh, process. So it's important that, that everyone does have opportunities in the community, but, you know, keeping government small, helping small business, small entrepreneurs, it's when I was uh, in the mayor's race, I talked about really entrepreneurship and, and starting a small business uh, and those opportunities are vital, trying to really create economic development, uh, better paying jobs, companies to Tennessee and District 18 in Knox County are very important to me and will continue to be very important to me. I think I bring a lot to the table uh, from a business experience perspective. I've been through a lots, of, lots of ups and downs with my own company and uh, I think education needs to continue to be a focus of ours economic development and affordable and accessible health care for our community. So uh, I'm excited about the opportunity and the challenges certainly are much greater in the last uh, few weeks or a few months uh, now that COVID has, has come, but uh, I, I'm up for the challenge and I look forward uh, to serving. Don Bosch, why don't you lead us off with some questions? Sure, Virginia, let me start with you. Um, uh, having lived most of my adult life in, in this district, um, I'm watching it change. I think it's been uh, primarily a, a Republican district that's really starting to change and, as we like to say, become purple versus just red. And, and with that said, if you were elected uh, into a state legislative body that is heavily Republican, how do you think you would be able to thrive and survive in that environment to effectuate some of the changes and some of the things that you want to see? Well, I think I've been an attorney for 20 years. I've been a small business attorney. I've put a lot of deals together, helping uh, businesses buy and sell other businesses, buy and sell real estate, representing you know parties that have a lot of money, parties that don't have a lot of money. I've been on the easy side and the hard side. It's all about putting deals together. 
So I can work across the aisle. And and you heard what Mr. Manis said. We're we're looking at the same issues, you know, affordable health care, um, education, economic growth. These are not partisan issues. These are issues that all our constituents, Republican, Democrat, Independent, care about. And so I think it's just a matter of being able to work across the aisle. I bring a lot of negotiation skills and how to, how to do that to the table. So what would you do different then than either your Republican opponent or Martin Daniel, who was there previously as a Republican I, I on think any of those issues? I think the main thing is bringing good research to the table. You hear a lot of people screaming about, you know, well, expanding uh, 10 care is going to cost too much. No, let's look at the numbers. Let's look at the numbers in other states when this was done, how much it cost, how much it's affecting this state, how much economic opportunity, improved health care that it brings. Doing that research and being able to show the other side, take the partisanship out of it. Let's look at the numbers and the data and come to some kind of agreement. It may not be everything you want. It may not be everything I want. But it's got it. We've got to be moving forward. It can't just be always whatever the supermajority wants. They get it can't be that way. That's not even serving serving all the constituents. We're leaving a lot of people without a chance to come to the table. Eddie, let's get if your you take are successful. On I would say that'll be a refreshing way. So yeah, I'd like to hear John. Yeah, what you said, Eddie. What what do you think about that? I'm sorry, John. What was the question? I just uh, uh, Don's question about deal making and how would you handle this office diff differently than your predecessor, Martin Daniel? Well, I don't know how I would handle it differently, but I am, uh, I will take a more moderate approach. And I, I think it's time locally, state, national, that we find solutions for problems. And in my 36 years now in business, I, uh, that's pretty much all I do is find solutions for problems. And I am a collaborator. I'm used to, to uh, working with employees and making customers happy, serving customers. And so uh, I think it's just about finding solutions and not worrying about a political identity. Uh, and if that's the case, then I'm certainly the person for that position. And Lamar Alexander, I always quote this phrase quite often, uh, it's conservative values, independent mind. And I think that's really important as we move forward. Uh, I will work to uh, the best that I can with both sides of the aisle to uh, bring results, deliver results for District 18. We're gonna come back with some questions from Susan Williams. We'll be back right after this.